Okay, the new Chop Shop DLC is out. And wow, they brought out so many cars already. They brought out six onto the San Andreas and two on Legendary Motorsports. Now, we're not going to be looking at the ones on Legendary Motorsports right now. But as you can see, they're tasty. We're going to get into them in another video. So, I struggled to think about what to do first. But the Mustang looks so interesting. They've actually updated the Mustang at it. Look at it. It looks so similar. It looks... Okay, 2.2 million is a crazy price tag. But this... Wow. Okay, okay, okay. Hello, stop getting excited. Buy the thing. And now I'm going to the realization that um, I might not have enough money for this DLC. Uh, I thought I had enough. I thought for counting up the last DLC that I'll have enough for this one. But no. Now, you're probably thinking, what did they call this car? The Dominator GTX is out. And that's uh, a different version with a different kit. What is this one called? The one that looks literally realistic. It's called the Dominator GT. And yeah, just GT. Look at the Vapid logo. Look what they've done to it. Wow. Crazy. And I'm just wondering what you can do with this. Can you get change? I pro you probably can't change the top. This just looks so stupid. It just looks like I'm in RP or something. It looks too similar to the Mustang. Okay, let's get over it. Let's get over it. Okay, hello. It looks so much like the Mustang. Let's see if we can get at least like a GT500 kit or something. That would be cool. Front bumpers. Oh, okay. We can do secondary just like the Dominator ASP. We can do secondary versions of every single bumper. I don't know why they do this, but I'm assuming it's for the back bumper too and all the arches too. Um, but if I remember correctly, so this is more like the GT500, but it's got those adjustable rods, typical GTA. There's never the perfect one for me. It's always like, I love this one, but I hate the sticking out. Definitely a difficult choice for now. I'm not going to... I need to remember I'm recording. Hello, you're recording. Okay, the rear bumpers. And uh, what have we got? Secondary stock bumper. There we've got primary sports. What's the difference between sports and stock? I guess I'll have to assess that later. And then we've got one. Wow, okay. That's a quite different. It's not a, that aggressive. I don't know what to feel about these fins. Okay, my bad. Okay, this one that looked like stock bumper has a different diffuser. You'd think they put that in a different section, but they put it in the same section. So, exhaust. You know, we got to... Oh, okay. I thought maybe we might have some pixelated options, but not this time. I mean, the stock ones are quite pixelated. Uh, we do want to change them just because of that. But not much option. Not much option. I think I'm going to have to go with a chrome. Oh, okay, okay. I don't, I don't like these exhaust options. Yeah, I'll have to just go with the chrome, like, pixelated versions. Fenders. We have a secondary color and carbon. So, yeah, just like the Dominator ASP, everything has a secondary, it seems. Uh, we can change the grill and probably rip off the Mustang even more. <laughs> oh, okay. This one, isn't this basically... Yeah, but I mean, it's got a cover on it. But, it, yeah, that is ripping up. Like, that is kind of the Mustang shape. Can we, we can totally take off everything and yeah that just looks i mean it looks nice but it i want it to look as close to the must it already looks crazily close to the mustang i don't know what i'm asking for but let's see how this serves the car let's see how that ends up looking and then we'll change it later if we want to again hello you're not here for yourself you're here to show other people what kind of modifications this car has and we do have some great ones. We do have some muscle kind of modifications. So um, I'm really, I am, I'm not a big fan of the secondary and the carbon version. I just, yeah, uh, some people might be, some people might just want carbon versions of everything and secondary color fenders. Oh, okay. Interesting. There are quite a few modifications. Okay. When it comes to bonnets, it seems like you've got something for everyone. So, yeah, there's many different variants from subtle to not so subtle. <laughs> I think I will go with a raised hood. Um, liveries. Let's see what liveries there are. Okay, you can get stripes. Oh, many different types of stripes, it seems. Stripes. More stripes. <laughs> Racing white track. Okay, I've got my cars in white, so I can't see that. So, we shall change that. And um, what? It makes my whole car black. Okay. Solid track racing. It seems like we've got stripes on every single livery. But we have more detail on some of them. Okay. Okay. 
interesting i don't know where rockstar have gone with it okay that that seems more rockstar <laughs> i don't i was gonna say like it seems like um rockstar have oh no i just realized my bonnet's got quick release pins oh yep this is what seems normal in the rockstar atmosphere i think they need they they also need like liveries to appeal to everyone okay for everyone who complains about my car being stock uh the stock hood option right is more aggressive than the other any other option that doesn't have hood pins so that's why i'm picking it okay here we go again with hella going stock we have mirrors we have secondary color and we have carbon okay not a great selection there um mud flaps we got those if anyone wants mud flaps on their convertible uh, there's no sign of actually making it a non-convertible yet um maybe i don't know i've not looked at the leaked cars yet or the drip beaded cars and maybe there is a non-convertible version spoilers okay you got lip spoilers and you see you got 22 different spoilers too so yeah i think there will be the subtle to the most aggressive wow okay nice i like these spoilers so far and then we get into the generic kind of gta spoilers and then we get to even bigger spoilers and i'm guessing we're gonna end with the biggest of them all gta tradition oh okay not too bad not too bad i think i'm not gonna go with the lip spoiler but i'm gonna go with one of these suited kind of spoilers even though it's convertible we're going for it trunk what can we change about the trunk okay we can make it secondary color or carbon fiber of course vents okay we can remove the vent we can uh, change the color of the vent to primary color and go secondary color no new wheels if anyone's wondering and there we are we're done i changed the wheels and the color i mean the wheels are the same as the stock ones but yeah, you, yeah i can color them now at least but i didn't know what to go for with this car right okay we're out and i just checked if it's hsw it's not hswable and the reason i checked is because this car does not cut it when it comes to speed this is full acceleration um yeah it's just like it's just like a normal fast car from like 2015 there's nothing special about this uh i'm pretty sure if we put it head to head with a gtx or something i think that might win um it will, i will see later on today uh, i'll probably do a drag race because now i'm interested uh, that video idea just came to mind it wasn't always there um but yeah it's just feels like it is, I mean, it's got more sportier handling. I'd, I'd say that. I mean, I keep crashing, but I don't know how to feel. Like, I spent 2.2 million on this car. Like, it, you are going to feel a bit disappointed. And I, I, I've got quite a lot of money, too. And I'm still quite disappointed. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I will be posting more on probably every car. So, uh, I would appreciate a subscribe if you haven't done so. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you enjoy. See you guys in the next one.